Welcome back and hello if you are new my name is Sarah and I do beauty videos from time to time <laughs> I also do a lot of plus size fashion mommy videos lifestyle decorating all that type of stuff so if any of that strikes your fancy I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and joined our little family and if you haven't already I love it also if you follow me on Instagram at Sarah England and today's video is going to be a fall get ready with me um, as far as full outfit the full outfit, the full face of makeup and an outfit. Um, I have gotten so many requests from you guys to do more makeup videos again and show you my updated makeup routine and things that I'm loving. Um, almost every video I get somebody asking me to do one. So here it is. I feel like I haven't sat down and done a makeup video in so long. And so it's probably going to be awkward if we're being honest. But today's video is super exciting because it is in collaboration with Dossier. If you don't know what Dossier is, is it is an amazing and affordable um, fragrance line. They make perfumes and colognes and they are all inspired by high-end fragrances that we know and love like ones from Chanel, Tom Ford, um, Dolce Cabana, YSL, all of our probably most coveted and expensive fragrances um, they have incredible, incredible dupes for and they're all $29. They're vegan and cruelty free and they are amazing non-synthetic fragrances. I love them. I've worked with them before. I've purchased them from them myself before. I highly recommend them. Um, basically, when you pick out your fragrance, they send you it in this little box. Um, when you open it, it tells you a little bit about them. They are fair, alternat fair alternatives to luxury perfumes. They're made in France. Um, vegan cruelty free like I said clean ingredients and this is a risk-free order so if you do not like this fragrance you get it to return it completely free um, and so what they do is they include the fragrance that you chose so this one is um, inspired by YSL's Mon Paris which is one of my very favorites and this one is called Woody One so they don't do a lot of fluff and stuff they give you incredible dupes for the high-end fragrances without adding on to all this extra money that you don't really need you just want the fragrance right so you get the full size bottle um, it's nice it's weighted it, it's luxurious the top is magnetic it already smells so good. It'll tell you the name of the fragrance that you chose, as well as the notes, the top notes, the middle notes, and the base notes in it. It just looks really clean and sophisticated. I really like it. It has like a nice, very minimalistic vibe. And then you also will receive your sample. So this one obviously says Woody One on it, and it's a very nice sample size. It's larger than you would get at like Sephora um, or anywhere you go to ask for a sample. And this is completely free, so you can use this for however many um, times that you would like. And once you decide, hey, I actually really like this fragrance, I'm gonna keep it. If you don't, you just send this whole bottle back, don't open it, just send it back, um, and you get to keep this for free, and you get a full refund. I've never sent one back, I've never had to. They've all been incredible. My husband loves them. Um, this month, I, like I said, I'm using Woody One, and that's for our special date night tonight. So, um, like I said, this is inspired by YSL's Mon Paris. This smells so freaking good. This is so nice for a nice date night. This is great for as we transition into fall and colder weather. The top notes are bergamot, raspberry, strawberry. The middle notes are jasmine, orange blossom, pear, and datura. I don't know about that last one, I don't know what that is. The base notes are patchouli, white musk, and cedarwood. This smells really warm and beautiful but it also has a nice sweetness to it. You really pick up on that raspberry and strawberry. It's so nice and cozy and beautiful. If you know what YSL's Mon Paris smells like, this smells pretty much identical to it. I highly recommend this one. This is a 1.7 ounce fluid bottle. Now my husband also has one too. He loves this line just as much as I do, and he has fr Fresh Woody 4. Um, this one is inspired by Ralph Lauren's Polo Blue. Um, it has top notes are bergamot, marina cord, cardamom, middle notes are basil, clary sage, and iris. The base notes are amber, musk, and vetiver. 
Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I know Ralph Lauren's Polo Blue is a really popular one from their line. This smells so, it's exactly what it's called, fresh woody. It smells super fresh and really warm and woody and earthy. It's insane. This smells so good. It smells really good on him too. So these are our picks for tonight. Um, I will have a coupon code and everything linked down for you um, in my description box. If you're interested, if you've never checked them out, I highly recommend them. They're an amazing company. All of their fragrances smell incredible. They're incredible dupes and nothing smells synthetic or cheap. They are made of incredibly nice materials and fragrances and I like them so much so thank you so much dossier for working with me again and let's get started with the look all right so for today's makeup um, we are actually going out for the first time in forever this I mean like months quarantine you know um, and we're actually gonna go celebrate my one of my best friends birthdays um, it's just her and her fiance our other best friend um, it's her birthday we're just going over to their apartment they've actually been isolating because they went on a trip um, and they had to when they came back home um, and they are COVID free so we are gonna go um, and spend some time with them and I'm so excited to have a mom's night out let me tell you friends it feels like it's been ages so I'm just cleansing my skin real quick um, I took a shower earlier but I went out to drop off my girls and to run to the store and when you put a mask on you get sweaty sweaty and it's gross so I'm just taking care of my skin really quickly um, next I'm gonna spray a little bit of a face spray on before I put my moisturizer on this is the in beauty project power up dual face setting mist this is so nice I got this in a boxy charm and I love it. It smells so good. It's so refreshing on my skin. It smells like ginger. I love that thing. Um, and then for our moisturizers and stuff today, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Clean Skin Club, the Vitamin C Brightening Booster with watermelon, green tea, and pineapple. This stuff is so nice as well. It feels so good on the skin and sinks right in. Um, so I'm gonna pop a little bit of that on. You guys ask a lot of times about what my skincare is, what I do. I change it a lot, um, but honestly, the biggest difference that I've made this summer is really seeing out of the sun. <laughs> um, and I feel like my skin has reacted so nicely from it. I've been really trying to keep it moisturized. Um, I mean, I still get like little lovely little guys right there, but honestly, my skin is looking so much better than it did. So, there's that, and then I went to the dermatologist, which is super important, guys. Go to your dermatologist. Gosh darn, melanoma is a silent killer, friends, okay? It's worth it to go get your annual checkup. I go every year, um, and he prescribed me some La Roche-Posay. This is the Tolerine Ultra Hydrant. I just have like four or five sample uh, tubes to try out before. This stuff is incredible. Like, when I first squeeze it, I mean, I've heard La Roche-Posay before. I know that it's a really, you know, well-liked brand among skincare professionals and dermatologists. But, um, it just wasn't something that it was, like, intriguing enough for me, you know? And then he prescribed this, and I squeezed it out of my hand. I'm like, this is so basic. Oh my gosh, the difference it's made to my skin. The hydration factor, the redness. I don't know if you can tell, but my skin is so less red so less red since I started using this. It's insane what it's done. I've never had a product that's actually taken away my redness and this stuff is insane. I'm so excited to actually get the full size bottle because I'm tired of squeezing out these little tubes but I highly recommend. It is, excuse me, it is perfect for sensitive skin, incredibly hydrating, has no fragrance. I really, really like it. All right, so we're gonna do a fall eye look. I just don't know what I wanna do. I really should have thought about, please ignore my very botched manicure now. Um, I just don't know what I wanna do. I got this eye, eyeshadow palette from Blink, from BoxyCharm. I thought it looked pretty, but it's not really hitting. It's not really hitting. Let's see what we got. I have my Kat Von D Lolita Por Vida palette, which is stunning. It is so pretty, 
So we can use that. I think I'm gonna do one eye off camera so I can decide and then we'll come back and do the second eye together and then we'll go from there. Does that sound good? Let's do that. All right, so I think that I have done it. I'll have to show you better lighting when we're done. But I did go ahead and just use the whole Lolita uh, Porvita palette from Kat Von D. Um, and this is, or now I guess it's KVD Beauty. Um, anyway, this is what it looks like. It has just a lot of really beautiful kind of browns and mauves. It's stunning, but it's easy to replicate. So, basically what I did um, already is I set my eyes with my concealer. This is my favorite, the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Full Wear Concealer in 320 Porcelain. And then I just popped on some Bare Minerals, Bare Minerals Translucent Powder on top. And um, I started going without realizing that I did the other eye too. So I just took a fluffy blending brush and I put a little bit of, please forgive me for my terrible pronunciation, um, this really beautiful warm kind of peachy tone. This is called Sylvia. And then this is called Enam Enamorda. Enamorda. I don't know. You're gonna just laugh and butcher me and that's fine. Anyway, but basically I've just put those two really, this is a pretty peach shade and this is more of like a, a cooler tan shade almost, still very light. Buff them into my crease, as you can see right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the, one of my favorite colors in this palette, which is Lolita Porvita. It's so, so beautiful. And I'm just gonna take that on the outer corner just like I did right here. I wanna just create a really beautiful, warm, romantic eye. I feel like this looks so pretty and romantic looking. So I'm gonna zoom you in, get closer. Get closer, mm. get close. Close enough? I think so, I think so. Okay, so I'm gonna take that uh, shade. If you don't have it, it's just, it's, how to describe it. It's kind of a, a, a mauve a deep mauve kind of clay color. Well, that was the worst swatch of mankind. Okay, these are terrible swatches, but as you can see, it kind of has a red, red clay color to it, but a little bit deeper with some mauve. It is, it is stunning on the eye, and this palette blends out really well. I highly recommend this palette if you can get your hands on it. I got mine at Sephora, um, but I do believe that they, I don't know if KVD is in Sephora anymore if it's just an Ulta, but I know that it did come to Ulta too. Or maybe it switched, I don't know, but I know it's at Ulta. Um, so we're just gonna go and put that, pack that on in that outer corner, right there. We're just gonna blend. I never look at this direction. I feel like I'm gonna mess this up. We're just gonna keep packing on and keep blending out until I get it to the intensity that I want it to be, or you do. Of course, if you want a bit more subtle or more daytime appropriate, you know, stop whenever. But for me, more is more. All right, so I got it to about the intensity I want. I will probably end up going back and still adding more. Um, but for right now, I'm going to switch on to this next shade, which is this incredibly stunning duochrome. You can see it, it is, it looks more blue in the pan, but on the eye it comes off a lot more of a green shift and it has like this beautiful like red, I don't even know how to describe it. All I know is that it's stunning. But of course, if you don't have a shade like this, just go with a shimmer shade, whether light or bronzy or whatnot, just something that's gonna add some beautiful like spark sparkles to your eye and softness to it but this shade is by far my favorite in the palette. It is so beautiful, but there's still a lot of subtlety to it. It's, it's a stunner. Just gonna pack it on and then go in with my fingers a little bit, just to build it up a little bit more. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add, pack on more of that Lolita Porvita shade just on the outer corner and really blend those two together. I'm gonna go in with this really beautiful golden shimmer color right here. This is called Preciosa. I know I'm, I'm butchering this, I'm sorry. I took multiple years of Spanish too and I still, for the life of me, can't pronounce the thing. Then 
I'm just gonna go in with my blending brush, make sure all the lines are blended smoothly. And this is kind of the look, just really subtle and beautiful. Of course, it's gonna look a lot better when we have the rest of our face on and we go underneath the eye a little bit, but I think it's so pretty. It's nice and fall vibes, but it has like a subtlety to it with a little bit of sparkle. Okay, let me zoom you out. Let me zoom you out. Okay, so now that we have our eyes done, I have something in my eye and it keeps clouding it and it's annoying me. Anyway, I'm gonna go very carefully underneath my eyes and get any of the fallout. I always do my eyeshadow beforehand because I like to be messy. And I don't have to worry about the fallout thing because I can just swipe it away. All right, so now we're gonna set our face, or no, prime our face. What am I talking about? Lately, I've been absolutely loving the Professional Hydrate Primer. Um, it's a hydrating, as you can imagine, professional basically. And if you liked the Benefit Professional, but it was too drying for you or clenched your dry patches, this one is for you. It smells like the original. I used way too much on my face. Whoa, it feels so different though. It's so strange. I don't know how to describe the way it feels. There's like a cooling effect to it, but it still blurs your pores, which is what I really like because a lot of hydrating primers don't do that. They just hydrate your skin almost like a second moisturizer, but I love this because it hydrates it and I can feel the hydration, but it also still blurs everything. I like it. I feel like it's innovative. Um, so I just use that, kind of let that set in for a little second. My face already looking smoother. Next, we're gonna move on to foundation. Now, I get questions from you guys all of the time, what my favorite foundation is, what foundations do I recommend the most, what I'm wearing. Um, my all-time favorite foundation, probably, at least from a drugstore, is Revlon Colorstay. You can't go wrong with this. This is amazing. You can build it up to really nice, full coverage. You can go medium coverage. You can even just, go, like, swipe a little bit on for a little bit of light coverage. They, I have the normal to dry one, but the oily one, oily combination skin, is amazing, too. They both are incredible formulas. Um, I have it in 150 buff. I love it this foundation it's a nice natural finish it's not too matte it's not too dewy it's stunning it's my all-time favorite foundation probably actually even outside of drugstore um i also love my it cosmetic cc plus um color correcting full coverage cream this is in fair i have multiple bottles i just have a new one i don't know where it is um this is amazing highly recommend this one it is great for a beautiful complexion that you just glow with um, but today, since I have a bit of a self tan on, if you can slightly see that, I need something a little bit darker. Unfortunately, my Revlon is not gonna cut it, so instead I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Matte um, foundation. This is in the color Natural. This is a very beautiful foundation as well. However, it is so matte and so heavy. So um, definitely not for the faint of heart if you're looking for a natural light this is not for you, but if you're looking for that like airbrushed, full face, this is for you. Um, I have it in natural and I have it in medium beige from only when I'm tan, and that's very rarely. Um, this is the first time I've put self tanner on this year because I haven't needed to, nor have had the desire to, except look at my terrible tan hand. Please ignore that, I look like I'm wearing gloves. Um, anyway, I'm gonna pop this on my face. Um, hopefully I can make it work. This stuff, though, lasts forever, and, like, I mean, you can just tell. Like, it's just, it's an intense coverage. But, it works really, really well, and if you really need a lot of coverage, or if you know that you're gonna do something that you wanna have long-lasting results for, this is a one, one for you. This would be great for a wedding, or like a prom, is anybody having those anymore? That kills me. Hopefully, seniors this year can get a prom of some sorts. Perfect special occasion type of foundation. Just gonna blend this down. It works pretty well, I think. I don't like it matches my neck. Um, like I just mentioned, this is my all-time favorite concealer. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear in 320 Porcelain. This is great. It is an exact dupe to me, an exact dupe. I mean, even looks the same. The Tarte Shape Tape. Um, and it is three times cheaper. Highly recommend this. Blends out wonderfully. It is definitely full coverage. 
but it's not drying. While I love the e.l.f. Camel Concealer, the 16 hour concealer, I haven't tried the dewy one. I need to try the dewy one because the other one is really drying underneath my eyes. Um, so I'm just putting it underneath my eyes, in the middle of my nose, and a tiny, tiny, tiny bit on my forehead. I don't do anything on my chin anymore, just the dead center of my face. I haven't done makeup in what feels like a decade, so it's such a fun experience to see my face changing. <laughs> Cause I'm like, man, looking good. <laughs> I feel like I just, I just don't have time anymore and I'm exhausted and I don't see a point cause no one's seen it. And so, but my husband likes when I get ready too. He's probably like, looking good baby. Not that he doesn't think I look pretty without makeup. That's not what I'm saying. You know what I'm just saying though. When you get all gussied up, that's how I feel. Feeling gussied. Feeling good. I think that looks really nice. You see it? It probably doesn't look as good on camera. I promise it'll look good in a second. Person, it's looking nice. Okay. And then I'm going to go move to powder. So the powder I've been really liking lately is the Ciate Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. It literally smells like coconut. It is so nice and lightweight. It's a beaut. Highly recommend it. Um, but since it is translucent and white, I try not to make myself look super ghostly. So I am gonna mix it with a little bit of the Revolution Banana Light Powder. Um, if you like the banana powder or want the banana powder effect, but you uh, looking like Casper like me, this is a good alternative. I got it at Ulta. And then I'm just gonna mix a little bit of that with the Ciate powder. I always mix my powders. You guys have seen this a million times. Mix it in my air spun lid. Um, and then this, which needs a desperate bath. I think I've showed this to you before. If I have not, this is life changing, game changing. This is the beauty blender, like beauty sponge. Um, it's a sponge on the outside, but it's like fuzzy, like a puff. It's a puff on the outside. Inside is like a silicone little, little tear, it's the exact shape, like teardrop shape. <laughs> I need to wash this. Um, but do you remember those like silicone blenders that came out that really didn't work very well? Well, this works amazingly in it. I don't know, this is amazing. It's changed the game for my makeup. I love this thing. Um, it definitely needs a bath. But I like it because it doesn't mess up my makeup. I can get it right where I want it. I can go lighter with it so it's not as heavy. And it just, it makes everything beautiful and seamless. I'm telling you, I think it was about 20 bucks. Pricey, worth it. Next, I'm gonna take my um, It Cosmetics CC Double Airbrush Ball, Ball Powder Brush. It looks like this, just a nice big fluffy brush. And we're just going to dust that powder away. I'm not baking, I don't need to bake. One, because this is matte. I don't wanna look even more dry than I already am. And because I find that for me, since I am dry, baking doesn't look very nice. It just adds heaviness. Um, so I'm dusting it away. But if you are on the oilier side or you really like the way the effect that baking looks, the effect that baking does, I need to sleep. If you like the effect that baking does, then keep it, go ahead. I am just dusting mine away. All right, I'm set. I am set. I really should have shaved in my stash because I'm starting to look like a uh, French chef right now. That's probably offensive, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking about the chef in um, Ariel. Anyway, okay, moving on to bronzer. Um, I have been really enjoying two specific ones, the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is a cult classic. Everyone and their mother loves this thing. However, I just finally got to it around, you know, beginning of quarantine. Um, I do not like the smell. The smell is so, so, so synthetic to me, I can't stand it. I don't know why people love that smell. I'm not a fan, but it works great. It's nice and cooler toned. And then this Aesthetica um, Sunset Bronzer is also really beautiful. 
It is nice and cool tone, which I really like. However, it is very powdery, so it does pick up quite a bit um, when you dust your brush in it, but as you can tell, um, I'm just taking my favorite Wet n Wild brush, and we are gonna bronze. Going a little bit on the sides of my nose. I find that my nose disappears, <laughs> uh, especially in photos when I do highlight so much in the center of my face. I need a little bit of contouring on the sides of my nose. Not necessarily to make it smaller, but just kind of for it to show up. Um, otherwise, it just blends away into my face. Okay, next we're going to contour. So I'm taking my... My camera cut out on me. Um, but I'm taking my Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette. This is amazing. You absolutely need it in your life if you like contouring. Um, it's lasted forever. I mixed just a bunch of the different shades together with my Sigma Large F Contour. What? My Large Angle Contour Brush, my F40. Um, and I'm just contouring, contouring. I'm getting rid of that Quarantine 15, you know what I'm saying? Get it, get, get rid of the double chin too. Oh, this is cute. Thumbnail. There we go. Contoured. Ready. Now, we're going to go ahead and highlight. I always highlight before blush. I just like the way that it looks better, a bit more subtle, a bit more natural. My all-time favorite blush or highlighter is this one. I've spent so much money on high-end highlighters because I feel like typically drugstore highlighters don't really hit my mark, hit the mark for me. But this one is my all-time favorite highlighter from drugstore and high-end. There's nothing that can beat can beat this. I just love it. I mix these two shades. This is by Milani. I have no idea what it's called because there's nothing on the package. It is fantastic. So we're gonna highlight to the high heaven. I mean, it's just so nice. This is the um, Almar, Alamar Brightening Brush. This is insanely good for highlighter. It is beautiful. I love the way it applies it. Just look at that. You know? Of course, if you do not like heavy highlighter, don't follow this part. If you like it, this one's for you. Next is blush. You best believe I also go in on the blush. So, taking my favorite, still gotta get a new one, still haven't done it. My NARS Luster, nothing can beat this blush. This is my all time favorite blush of life. It is a very beautiful apricot bronze blush. I like to put it on my nose again. I like the look of like kind of a rosy nose. I think that looks cute. I take a little bit of the Clinique Cheek Pop in Fig Pop, which is another beauty. Um, and just just keep adding on. <laughs> you guys have said this before that I have used way too much blush, but it's probably my favorite part. Blush and lipstick. It just makes me happy. Now, I kind of overdo it with blush when I use this foundation because I find that my like blush and contour and all that kind of just fades away. I don't really know why. I don't know if it's just because it's such an intense matte and a full coverage form formula that nothing wants to stick to it. Um... So I kind of go overboard <laughs> so it lasts a bit longer. I may look crazy at the beginning of the night, but by the end of the night, it's a lot more subtle. So I think I got it to the intensity that I want. I may go back later, who knows. Um, I'm just gonna rub off foundation on my lips and I'm gonna put it on a little bit of um, a moisturizer, sort of. This is the Sephora Color Enhancing Oil in, I think it's only one, pH Berry. This stuff is wonderful. I love it. I just love the subtle color it gives. I wear this all the time. Makeup or no makeup. But I'm just using that for my moisturizer right now. I'm going to move to my brows. You guys know if you've been watching my channel, the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil in Taupe. This is my all-time favorite. I am the least fussy brow person you'll meet. I just don't really care that much. They are my natural brows. I don't do much. I haven't had a brow wax in about three years if we're being honest probably going on four now actually it's been a bit anyway um i just slightly fill them in a little bit just to add a little bit more dimension and definition and call it a day natural brows i think it kind of helps tone down the intensity of my makeup 
and make it not look as heavy if they're just a bit more natural and not painted on. Next, we are gonna just finish up under the eyes. I'm just taking that blending brush and kind of just whatever's on it and going underneath it and just to kind of, I like that, take away the dark circles but then add them back kind of look, I don't know. Just kind of buff that color underneath a little bit, round out the edges so it's not so harsh. Alright, so I just lined my lower lash line um, with just a basic brown liner just to add a little extra something since it is nighttime. I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to use my favorite mascara that I've been using for about a year or so now. Highly recommend it. It's my favorite. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation and the waterproof one. They have a regular one that's just in the pink tube. I can not attest to that one, but the waterproof one I love. So I'm going to do that and then I'll see you in a second. So lashes are done. I really kind of want to do falsies but I'm not going to um, I am going to use the lip liner by Beauty Vault this is in the color bow babe I'm going to line my lips with it and then we're going to do lipstick next I'm going to take this uh, lipstick from Maybelline this is in their um, I think this is like a lipstick shade for everyone their color sensationals. This is in the color mauve for me. There we go. There's the makeup. There's my husband in the background. What do you guys think? I think it turned out really pretty. It's super fun and folly without being overwhelmingly dark. So it's good for daytime and nighttime and I like it. So let's get our outfit on. Don't know what I'm going to wear yet. Let's figure it out. Let's get our outfit on and let's go. Alright guys, so here is my outfit. I'm just wearing this really pretty um, rust colored blouse. This is from Amazon. Um, it actually, the sleeves go up like that, but I've been kind of rocking it kind of delicately off shoulder. I love the lace in it. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, and it has, it's kind of stretchy, but not super stretchy. I do believe it comes in other colors. I will have it linked below. And then, and then I'm just pairing it with some basic jeans. These are the ones from Torrid. Um, I love these. They're incredibly comfortable, high-waisted. I feel like they keep me nice and secure. And then make the, the booty look good. <laughs> and then I'm just wearing them with some basic, disgusting, I need new ones, black pointed flats. It's just a really easy date night look tonight um, because it's COVID and no one's trying really hard right now. Um, and it's not cold enough to wear any of my cute fall stuff yet. So this is what I got. Still fallish, but not too hot yet. That is the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to check out Dossier down below. I will have everything linked. Um, and I hope you got some good ideas from some makeup tips that I showed you guys. And let me know what you think down below. I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.